All right. Killer Mike. Michael. New album dropped today or midnight, whatever. Uh, this is my pick. Not a lot of people have pushed for this one. Uh, you know, it was brought up a couple weeks back when it was announced and people were asking me if I was going to do it. And I said, yeah. But more so, this is my wanting to do this than the community wanting to do this. And the, the main reason why is you know, I've heard Killer Mike on Run the Jewels. I have not heard rap music. I, I haven't sat down with that album yet. Hope I would like to. Uh, some people told me, oh, you got to do rap music before this one. It's hard. There's just so much to listen to. And so I was like, no, what? I'm just going to do the new one. There you go. The reason why I'm so excited about this is I feel like Killer Mike's a great rapper, great writer, good energy. Like just he's got a lot going on in terms of uh, his skill set. But what I like the most coming into this one is he's he's in his 40s. He's married. He has kids. These are all things that I also have, right? And I bring that up just because I'm excited to hear an artist who is later in life, who has different focuses, different concerns, different perspectives. And I want to be careful with this because I don't, I won't, I hate it when the older generations talk down to the kid. Like, one day you'll understand what it means. To... No, no, no. I ain't trying to do that, right? All I'm trying to say is that younger artists tend to focus on certain things and older artists will focus on other things that's it and so for myself being in my 40s being married having a son i'm excited to hear mike's perspective that's really what it comes down to and i want to kind of like warn everybody myself included probably gonna cry during this one probably gonna get some sideways bob on this one because mike is pretty open he's pretty raw he's he's emotionally comfortable i would say and i've been playing a lot of diablo 4 like intentionally cutting sleep from my schedule so i could play more diablo 4 so i'm tired and when i'm when i'm tired i i cry easier <laughs> so if you're writing headlines okay if you're writing a headline it's you know old Bald guy cries to rap album after playing Diablo 4. <laughs> that's, a, that's the headline we got there. Um, I guess I don't really have much else to say. Oh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to try. I'm going to just try and upload this uncut. We'll see what happens. I know that, uh, or I've been told, I don't know personally, but I've been told that Run the Jewels is pretty um, engaging with the community, online community and stuff. You know, Thundercat, I did that reaction to Drunk, and I was able to post that uncut. Fucking legit. I wonder if I can do that. So I'll try. I'll upload it. And if you're on YouTube right now and you're watching it, you'll see the first comment. I'll put a pin. I'll pin my comment saying, hey, it's uncut or it's not. Whatever. Either way, the uncut obviously is on Patreon. That's two bucks a month if you want to join Patreon, support the channel. There's two music videos I'm going to do that will be Patreon exclusive unless I can post this uncut. If I can post this whole thing, it doesn't get blocked, music videos and all, cool. And if not, it'll be the standard edition of edits and what have you. And I guess that's it. Let's drop in. You know, I was looking at this, the, the track list here. There's a lot of features. A lot of features. Andre 3000's in here. Young Thug's in here. CeeLo Green, LP. There's a lot of people. A lot of people in here. It was cool. Um, okay. Well, it's, it's 14 songs, 54 minutes. Nice and lean. First track is called Down By... Oh, I don't want to talk about the cover. I love the cover. As a father, I look at that picture and I go, oh, what a, what a just cute kid, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I love that there's the halo and the little the horns, right? And of course, being a parent, when you see photos like this, you go, oh, how could that sweet little child ever do anything evil, right? There's no way, and I'm sure, I'm sure Mike has done plenty of things to just torture his poor mom. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, first track is called Down by Law. And I was, as I was setting up, I was just thinking about that, looking at it, it kind of just caught my brain. Down by Law, because I feel like we're already in some wordplay, right? Because I feel like you could take this two ways. One, you could take it in like a positive way of, you know, hey, you want are you down to go do this? Oh man, I'm, da I'm so down. It's law. Like I'm always down, right? You know, just go off, do whatever. But you could also take it in like a, um, like sports, you know, in football, you're down by contact or like if there's a controversial play and they're reviewing it, you know, by rule, we have to do this, that and the other. So then I think that concept of down by law and kind of like, a, no, you're 
your play is over by law, not you. And I would, you know, I just have to say, Black America, no, you by law, you're down. It's over. That kind of idea. And I was looking at some of the other ones too. It's like, shit, there's already wordplay happening in the song titles. Cool. All right, let's drop in. Track one. First time listening to Michael. First time listening to Killer Mike solo work. Here we go. Track one, Down by Law. I just think timing is everything. Like, nigga, this it. This, this one right here. That ain't easy. Stay motivated. Stay inspired. I owe it to myself. Stay oh, yeah, and it has CeeLo Green as well. It's been hard so. throughout the journey. It's been a journey. Interesting. production here I love the bass man holy shit cool cool well we're starting out strong in my opinion that, that opening track gets a fucking heart who was the producer it's not even listed there's a lot of I'm noticing you know it's, the album just came out basically zero annotations and they don't even have all the lyrics in there's a lot of question marks especially you get down towards the end with the outro with CeeLo well it, it's funny I always I always I try and tell myself have no expectations right just come in open mind do your best open mind no expectations but I always have expectations and I expected Mike to bring the heat killer Mike to bring the heat he fucking brought the heat <laughs> way beyond what I expected holy shit I didn't, I didn't get a chance to pause. Normally I tried to pause after a verse, not in the verse. That's why I just let it play through because he just fucking pure fire the whole way through. I mean, just puts the torch down. Sipping yellow. You're itching, twitching, and glitching. Snakes in your circle and then bitches hissing. I loved how it paused. He went, listen, shh. And the music just kind of pauses for a second. I like that. That was cool. Uh, they gave up on God. Maybe God gave up on us. She's angry. We're worshiping, worshiping all these idols, all these false idols. So devil's just praying on luck. It's for the junkie, the fiend, and the loser praying to the God, praying to God in the back of a cruiser, which is. Initially, I really liked that line because I thought about just the concept of you know, the person who only prays when they actually, you know, need, need the help. You know, you only think about God or pray to God or, 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 you know, all this other shit when, oh shit, things are bad. And now I, I, someone bail me out, right? Other than just normal life. <clears throat> but the line before that, this for the junkie, the fiend and the loser. And to me, that adds another layer to it because the junkie and the fiend and the loser, they're already in the back of the cruiser. Before it happens, they just don't realize it because they're so swallowed up by this addiction, by this lost way of life type of thing. But they only pray when it's like right in front of their face type of a thing. And I, I don't, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm adding to that. I don't necessarily know if that's his intention, but I just feel like there's two layers on that. 
And he goes on to say, I pray that prison can cure your addiction and devil's affliction don't hurt you no more. Yeah. Need no reason, but I'll let you know I was so young when I stood at that store that I did not know that the money you paid me was meant for your babies and now they're just poor. It was just business. I'm not vicious. I had no vision. I wanted Gucci. I mean, he's, I think he's talked about that. What was it? Run the Jewels. Three, was it three? Two? Crown. I love Crown. That's a great song. Can't pick up no crown. Holding what's holding you down. And Killer Mike's verse on that is fantastic where he's basically apologizing to this woman about you know selling drugs. And, all this. and she's like, did me, did me no harm. Like whatever. I can't remember how it goes right now, but great. I really like that song. Great song. And all them crackers said, fuck us. Mad because they're women in love with the God. <laughs> they fuck us and suck us and love us. <laughs> and then he kind of like goes back, back to the trap, back to the dickies and buffs, looking like I drive a truck. And he's talking about his wife, goes into his wife. This is great. She's got the heart of Asada. I don't know who Asada is. She's from the gutter. Wife and a mother. Winning together. I love it. Winning together. And then he rattles off a bunch of people who I don't know, except for Malcolm Martin and King. Lift every voice. That's the song that I sing. Even if it All right, let's keep rolling. This is great. Great opener. And I wonder, Down by Law, I, I kind of feel like it was both. It was, you know, the way CeeLo outro, you know, I'm down. Down by Law. It feels like it's, I don't know, both. Although I think it's, the, it's more of the positive. You know, I'm down. I'm down by Law. Not necessarily this oppressive thing. Anyway. Track two is called Shed Tears. It's produced by No ID, who did 444. Uh, Killer Mike and Mozzie. I'm not familiar with Mozzie, but let's jump in. Track two, Shed Tears. You weren't so eager to please the white man and send the grading curve up. There'd be three times as many of us here now. Come on, come on. No, 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 wait a minute. No, wait a minute. This fool is crazy, man. Hmm. Hey brother, brother, an enemy more than mothers Just know that today's a number that life might be filled with troubles Your troubles may come in doubles and form of your former lovers That use your kids for revenge cause you dug her But never loved her, never loved her but drug her Brother and made her suffer, left her a single mother No malice since I was younger, barely filled with that hunger Barely could help my mama, how could I be a father? Daddy keep getting harder, half mercy Every week something hitting me adversely I remember dropping my babies off at the church nursery I remember sitting hurt all alone in the church service Asking God to reveal me a plan and a higher purpose So it's going to be very challenging because the lyrics are all fucked up here on Genius They don't even have all the lyrics The spelling's like it This is a train wreck <laughs> This is a train wreck So it's very challenging uh, I guess I have to I'm trying to listen and read But there's just tons of gaps Like like a third of the lyrics aren't even here at all. It's kind of fucking crazy. Great sound though. So let's just listen to the song. Let's, let's just listen to it. I'll try paying attention and we'll, we'll kind of go through what is available. But let's, let's keep rolling. Trust in me, I will give you rest. I love this fucking choir, the drum, the full sound. I mean, it's beautiful. Lots yeah. of fucking energy, man. We ain't just come from it, we cut from it. Trouble youngin', I love far ones, ain't think nothing of it. Product of my environment, I ain't nothing but it. We prepare ourselves for the penitentiary, it come with thuggin'. Hey, mama told me it get lonely in that cell, but she ain't tell me it'll break you since I thank you for your meal. Poppin' pills till I can't feel somebody save me for myself. Giveaways is bullin' all, let's do something to really know. I just got to pause because I know I probably looked like wildly like confused or like uninterested or whatever. My brain is like fucking shattered. Look, that whole verse that we just heard, right? This is what's written down. Troubled young, they ain't think nothing, four year soul. Product, like, it's like they're writing the lyrics in now. Somebody's like editing it or something. I am nothing but it. We prepare ourselves. It come with thug and get teary plenty. I wish I could hit you dirt. Like, like this isn't even fucking, these aren't even words. <laughs> I shed tears in the, it's like somebody's trying to fill this in in real time right now. Anyway, so th that is like 
my analytical brain is just in a train wreck right now. So let's focus on the sound. <clears throat> Still a minute and a half left. Loving the sound. I'm loving, I'm loving the full sound of the choir. I'm loving the fucking drum beat. So fuck the lyrics. I'll try and hear them, but it is very challenging for me to, to, this is where it's hard for me to just try and listen to everything, but I'm trying to catch the words. I think we just have to skip lyrical analysis on this one. I shed tears every morning in the bathroom mirror. Face to face with fate, had to face my fears. It yeah. was me. I'm the reason that I fail. That oh, was wow. hell. Locked the self guilt like jail. Lord, I cried. Almost died empty inside. The devil whispers in your ear. You contemplate suicide. I tell you, I know. Promise honest did never float. And this pride before the fall is how it usually go. Looking at me, I was strutting proud as can be. Then tell me nothing, I was hushing people keeping it G. I heard my ancestor voices, now they speaking through me. I'm your refuge and it's me. This is great. I, I, I'm fucking this is cool. So, I mean, I know we're only two tracks in. There's there's 14 in total, but Shed Tears is definitely a contender for favorite. It's like a fucking gospel song, man. And you know what I like about it, though, is it, this. It, sometimes when you get into some of these religious elements, it, it, it's difficult because stuff gets preachy real easy, you know? But I love it when somebody preaches from their own points of failure. I, I never, ever enjoy listening to somebody go, you know, you guys need to do this and you guys are all sinners and you. No, 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 no. Fucking in the. We don't have the lyrics, so I can't. I don't. I'll just have to go off of shoddy memory, right? But, you know, I looked in the mirror and, you know, I shed tears. I cried. It was me. I was the reason why I failed, you know, talking about the devil gets to whispering in your ears and you contemplating suicide and all this other stuff. I can't remember the rest. It was great, though. Great verse. Unfortunately, I can't. My, my mind cannot remember words that quickly. But and then going, you know, from the valley and sin up to the mountaintop. And then you've got the chorus, you know, I'll give you rest for your soul. All this other stuff. Great song. And the, the production is so fucking energetic. And it feels like a, um, like a celebration, jubilance, you know, which in my opinion, I, I'm, not, I'm not Christian. I don't, I'm, I'm more of a Buddhist mindset. That's my worldview, essentially. That's how it should be, right? Like that's the whole point is to celebrate this life that you've been given, not, not suffer and and mope your head because you're a terrible person and all I ever do is sin. And I'm like, no, celebrate this this being brought up out of sin type of a thing, even though sin is still everywhere, of course. But anyway, I just like that there's a positive energy to it. It's not, it's not a fucking, uh, it's a celebration. There's a comedian, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> he has this great bit about how, you know, the, the Protestant church and how they're singing the celebration songs and, and it's just like this droning, no excitement, no enjoyment. You know, God in three persons. Like, it's a great bit. Because <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be, right? You're supposed to praise God. You're supposed to celebrate the gifts and all this other stuff. But I like that he comes from the point of view of, um, you know, fucking, it was me. I was all fucked up. Anyway. Weird experience on that track by me. Obviously, not having lyrics really fucks me up, apparently. So there we go. Let's move on to the track, which is called Run. Uh, it's got Killer Mike. Is there a feature? Young, young, <laughs> young Thug is on this, produced by No ID. Track three, Run. Let's drop in. Mike. One thing about being a nigga in America, it's like storming the beach in Normandy. Oh, Chappelle. One guy gets popped, another guy goes, another guy falls. So what's the excuse? I'm not good enough. I did something wrong. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Nobody asked anyone to be perfect. Yeah. We just asking people to be honest. You're a leader. Fucking preach. Lead. Chappelle, man. Goddamn. Don't be afraid. We got your back like the motherfucking horizon. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't like ugly, I ain't wanna judge. Great baseline. A lot of gold cubes with a ton. Say I kept it solid when it's all said and done. All I 
know is keep going, run, better run. Mama told me never fold, run, better run. Like Jenny told Forrest Gump, run, better run. Cool. The race for freedom ain't won, run, better run. Had to make it out the red clay, run, better run. The west side of Atlanta, yeah, that's where I'm from. Outside, our hands on like a glove. <laughs> Great fucking sound. Moving like my nigga Nori eating on the run. Great sound. All the L's I wear is followed by my tongue. <laughs> Get money in the power, teach them why they young. Hmm. Blessed to make it out of slum, run, better run. All I know is keep going, run, better run. This is one thing, I obviously, I can't. I, it's hard to speak to being who I am, the life I have, uh, the, I suppose, the freedoms that I have. You know, I, I don't know what it's like to be a black person in this country. I can't have that experience. I can't understand that experience. I can sympathize with it. Uh, I can express my lack of trust in politicians, my lack of trust in the police and the justice system in general. You know, there's a lot of things that I see and am not happy with. But at the same time, my experience is wildly different. So I like this song for how personal it is. I really feel like a lot of people are going to connect with it. Uh, I can't connect with it in certain ways for obvious reasons, right? But what I love is that opening part by Dave Chappelle talking about, you know, storming the beach in Normandy, like being a black person's like storming the beach and like some people are just getting hit and some people aren't and that's all there is to it. And so you just got to go. But what I really enjoyed about that whole bit was this, this expression of, of feeling scared, having doubts. It doesn't fucking matter. That, that was so great. And I, I was listening to that thinking, Jesus, like, is this going to be Killer Mike's last album? I don't, I don't know. I mean, that, that was just going through my head because it feels like, you know, it's been a while since rap music came out. I, I didn't look at his uh, discography history. I, I think it's been a while since he's had his own album. But I just like how Chappelle brought up this idea of, you know, what are you waiting for? Are you scared? Are you afraid you're not perfect? Nobody's asking for anybody to be perfect. Like, you just got to, you got to do it. Whether or not you feel like you're good enough, whether or not you're scared, you, you got to do it. And I think got to do it being in this situation, Killer Mike expressing these ideas, putting out this album. Well, maybe not putting out this album, but standing for what he believes in, expressing these ideas and fighting back against a system that, in my opinion, is not fair. It's not just. But that's a scary thing. I mean, there's fucking, there are forces of power out there that are against that, that want to shut people down. And I feel like I, I hope there is a silver lining out of everything that's happening right now of all of us, the non-elite, the non-rich, all of us, all getting crushed together. Because hopefully the people who don't realize what's going on, they'll start to realize, oh shit, this whole system that I was using to oppress black people or gay people or whatever, right? Oh shit, no, the system's also designed to oppress me. Like it's not me versus them, it's all of us versus them type of a thing. Anyway, let's keep going. Great fucking sound. Love the production on this. I love the darker kind of tones, the slower tempo. I love this idea of just keep going, keep running. But it's not like, it's not like the previous track was like celebration, right? And, and, and energy and joy and, and jubilance, right? No, no, no. This is fucking kind of scary, kind of dark, hard. It's for the one that never won. Hurt feeling going on. He's the odds like a drum. Run, run, better run. Run, run, better run. I love these vocals in the back too. I put some brand new my gel on my bitch. Thinking the same, but ain't banking the same. I put some brand new my gel on my bitch. Thinking the same, but ain't banking the same. I put a brand new flat rest on her wrist. I bought that bitch a new Pratt and Prince Jane. This a bigger boat, we ain't sinking the same. This PJ, but not on the same plane. Love these supporting vocals here. Rescue the trenches, all of the kids. We gonna escape on the yacht boat. I love that fucking bass line back there. <laughs> Every now it just kind of comes up to the surface. Green interior line run, nigga. Dr. Martin 
run boost when I come, yeah, that nigga run. Run, run, better run. Run, take off. Run, run, better run. Great song. Run. Take off. Great song. Run, run, better run. I'm glad I sat down with this. This is fucking great. Three for three. Both, all three tracks, wildly different in terms of sound, energy, great variety already. But I, I really like what he's fucking saying here. I, and this is why I wanted to sit down with Mike, Killer Mike. I keep calling him Mike like we're fucking... <laughs> how's it going? Right? I, I don't know the guy. I don't know why I do this. Every now and then I just do that. I was calling Little Sims Sims and it's like, yeah, we ain't, we ain't friends. She don't know me. I don't know her. West side of Atlanta. So from, where was it? There is a uh, playing with the powder. My photo red I can't remember. Oh, the only L's I wear is followed by Bhutan, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Get money in the power. Teach them while they're young. Blessed to make it out the slums. And so, you know, he's talking about beating the odds like a drum. You know, his mom says never fold, just run. Hurt feeling going numb. This is for the ones that never won. Basically, I mean, Feels like I, I'm what I'm taking from this is you know, he is in a position to have a positive effect, right? And while putting yourself out there while you're in that position, being well known, and you know you now okay now you're open to attack as well. That's that's part of it. That's how how it goes. But it, I like that he's essentially taking on this this uh, torch. I remember one of my favorite additional thoughts videos is the second half of my additional thoughts to do to pip a butterfly. I talk about picking up the torch. You got to stand for what you believe in. And there's other people that do it and it's great and, and we support them and cheer them on. But then eventually, for whatever reason, they're gone. And now it's somebody else's turn to pick up the torch. And if nobody picks it up, it just dies, you know. So I like I like this because it's I feel like this is Mike picking up a killer. <laughs> I'm just going to call him Mike throughout the whole video. Apparently. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my, me and my bestie Mike here, right? We're going to hang out today, but I feel like it's him picking up his torch, even though he's scared, even though he has doubts, even though he feels like he's maybe not good enough. He's not perfect. But that opening speech by Chappelle is fucking great. Nobody expected you to be perfect. What are you waiting for? Do it, do it. You know, fucking great. This is great. Track four is called Enrich. Oh, it might be, huh, it might be N rich, like N word rich. I've heard that phrase before. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Honestly, I, I'm kind of happy to not know what that means. It's featuring, I think it's probably pronounced as black. Aaron Allen Kane produced by Cool and Dre. Okay. Track four, I'm just gonna call it Enrich, but uh, we'll, we'll see what it is. Niggas do a lot of shooting, niggas do a lot of shooting, niggas shoot off at the mind. The white police, when the boys shoot it at them. Rolling with my nigga, rich oh. niggas, this is oh, my yeah. nigga roll. Jesus was a nigga, my nigga killed him, my nigga roll. I know you love me running the jewels, but these my nigga flow. Love him like that dumb spick pimp, love that nigga ho. And that's word to Michael and Fresh, the realest niggas know. That's the movies niggas should watch, fuck Scarface and Blow. You still talking New Jack City, that's why you niggas po. I open Greenwood and show niggas that we is molded, sticking green under the beams and mama's wooden flow. And I huh. know some secrets. Which that Negro leaders will never know. We should be celebrated. Huh. Great chorus here. Holy shit. Don't let them own you. Fucking brilliant chorus. Sounds amazing. Great vocals there. Run up the million, run up the millions, then build the feelings, then make your own rules. Fuck what they told you. Don't let them own you. Black and pride, black as night, black and brilliant. Walk by faith, not by sight. Stand resilient. Two full wings comes to life. Time reveals it. Time reveals it. There is a typo here. Eight in the 80s as babies. We sold master's dope. Labeled us a nuisance. They used the courts like noose and rope 
us poor babies, we gave ourselves to slavery. In rich, we made it, we should be celebrated. I opened Greenwood to show people that we's more than sticking green under the beams in mama's wooden floor. And I know some secrets that leaders, the, the Negro leaders will never know. I was in cahoots with the spooks that sat by master's door. When the revolution let loose, they couldn't master stove. Anyways, let's keep rolling. So I'm, I'm, I'm killing the vibe here. Let's roll on the verse here. Play my name, nigga shit what I know. I don't make friends, pop out and then I go. I don't pick sides, only my niggas and they niggas. We gon' turn the streets from projects into pillars. Pray all of my niggas organize and strategize. Enemies are lurking around the way like camouflage. I love the piano. It's beautiful. This is not a film. This is real, real life. Forty-three for combat. Hit them right in that fucking little light drum. All my niggas abstract, and we tight like we compact. Let me state it. I real estate it when others hate it. Born at Grady, a bastard baby, a single lady. I beat the odds without God. I probably wouldn't have made it. It's underwhelming to be so overly underrated. Still they witnessing all the riches of nigga richness. Singing and dancing is essentially just a nigga business. But nigga business can turn niggas on to bigger business. They used to own us, but now we own us. That's independence. Don't parlay with ops, but I can if you can, folks. Got it like a syndrome, nothing riches my skin tone. Oh, love, love the chorus. Let's build the village. Oh, then make your own. Fuck what they told you. Don't let them know you. Black and bright, black is night, black and green. Walk by faith, not by sight. This is fucking phenomenal. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great track. Four for four on hearts. Absolutely. No question. This is amazing. <laughs> I beat the odds. Without God, I probably wouldn't have made it. It's underwhelming to be so overly underrated. <laughs> like that. But still they witness and all the riches of the uh, in richness. Singing and dancing is essentially just a person's business, but People business can turn people into bigger business. They used to own us, but now we own us. That's independent. My phone is figures. I talked to Randell about bigger figures. I told him I want 100 mil. He said, think bigger. That's fucking amazing. Now I move through the Louvre smooth when I'm in Paris. The Louvre is uh, the giant art museum. I've actually been there. It's a cool place. Fucking fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, where was it? There was a thing about you got to keep fighting. I think it was black. Where was it here? No, we were, we really should be celebrated, but I got everything else we got to fight for. So I'm going to see this is the lyrics are all fucked up in here on genius. They're all fucked up. I don't think he says, but I got everything else we got to got fight for. I think it's, I got, Oh, maybe, maybe this is right. Maybe I'm fucked up. Hmm. Great track. This is fucking good. Really fucking good. Track five is called Talk of That Shit. It's produced by DJ Paul and TY with Killer Mike. Let's drop it. Track five. Can't play the current song. Okay. Well, let's uh, <clears throat> let's try again. This would be very wonderful if Spotify just decides to shit on me. Yeah, can't play the song. Interesting. Let's try track six, which is called Slummer. Maybe we can come back to this. Uh, Killer Mike and Jagged Edge, produced by Cool and Dre which I think did the production on Rich. Yeah, and he did a fucking phenomenal job on it. Let's try track six, which is Slummer. The lyrics have not yet been released. <laughs> very challenging, very challenging reaction this video. Stay high and holy, he ain't into watches, don't mind the rolly. I ain't a pastor, you bastards, I keep a black pistol. Chubby, young <laughs> jit, talk slick, rolling like rolling pony. At 15, my girlfriend was thick, and she would slowly blow me. I would beat it down, when she come up fine, she was dying. She would help me sack. Like the change of flow there. She would find, I would in my feelings. 
bass drops in. So clearly I don't have the lyrics in front of me. I can't, uh, you know, go line by line. But basically, you know, talking about this teenage love that he had and this girl and they were 15 and, you know, they're getting together. And then all of a sudden she tells him I'm pregnant with this other guy and then it's over. But they still meet up in the summers. But what was the line? It was, uh, but now our relationship is slummer. So the love is kind of, you know, more or less ruined. But it sounds like he still has feelings for her either way. And then it kind of just goes into this little bit about she's telling him, no, you're, you know, I'm, he's asking her, how, what are you going to do? What are you going to, you know, I'm going to be, I'll be fine. Don't worry about, like basically telling him, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. You go do this. Don't, you, basically just telling him, God, I sound so fucking stupid right now. <laughs> you know, you're going to be something great. Don't follow these dope fiends. Don't follow the deaf, dumb, and blind. You know, go fucking travel. Go do these things that you're capable of doing. And what I'm really starting to enjoy here is it's kind of this broader theme that's starting to play out a bit. And I, you know, I, I was kind of hoping it would be Killer Mike reflecting on his life a little bit, but he's kind of stretching out this idea and, and unfolding this idea of looking at where he's come from, who he is, the struggles that he's had, the things that he cares about now, what he needs to do as the person he is today type of thing. It's neat. I mean, this is fucking cool. Let's keep rolling. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably say more stupid shit. <laughs> I feel like this has been a uh, rough reaction thus far, but that's okay. You know, every now and then you have a rough reaction. It, it's just how it goes. This is a great song, though. I, so far, this album is fucking phenomenal. She's my summer love. She's my summer love. He's still in love with her. Well, not necessarily in love with her, but still cares for her, this person. Because what a beautiful sound. Interesting turn here. I remember you called and said, Michael, I am pregnant. I responded, baby girl, a baby girl might be a blessing. And I ain't usher, baby, but this here is my confession. I must own it. I didn't want it. Even now, I know I'm flexing. Because wow. all that raw dog sex, and I knew I would get you pregnant. And all this teenage love is really just about possessing. They call it adolescence because we learn in adult lessons. And I ain't grown right, because nice I rolled some stones and carried weapons. I was rubbing on your tummy when your mommy asked for money. Told me your procedure's Monday. And she gon' need like 400 And had I known your mother wasn't gon' never let you keep it I wouldn't have told my partners would have kept that news a secret Secret Wow Incredible song So Got a little emotional there For no reason other than Powerful music The song Turning you know, they call it adolescence because we're learning adult lessons. Fucking killer line right there, man. But that that darker tone, that the, the elongated space in the music, it really just lets you... It really lets you just feel what he's feeling. And I think that's why I'm so stirred up by it because, you know, I don't have any... I, whatever, right? I just, I feel like Killer Mike still feels this. He, he still thinks back on it. Good shit. 
Good shit. I mean, that's that's a fucking, ugh. that's just a good, good gut punch. And the reason why I, this is so important and why I'm so, uh, <laughs> I'm stirred up about it, but I'm, I'm really, really happy this exists in the album is, like I was saying a little bit earlier, it feels like Mike is, uh, Mike, <laughs> me and my buddy Mike, he's, geez, you know, he's just looking back at what he's done. And there was that bit by Chappelle, was it? I forget which track it was already now. You know, nobody's perfect. Nobody expects you to be perfect. But if you want to lead, especially, you know, consider who he is and what he's upset about. The same thing, like, you know, the politicians fucking lie all the time. All these people who just lie, lie, lie. I mean, they're garbage, right? So I, I feel like what he's doing is he's living to his standard. Honest. <laughs> open here's the mistakes i've made trying to lead by example trying to help people understand what a bad decision looks like what it fucking feels like 30 years later that kind of thing good shit let's see let's see if track five will play now we'll go back a track which is a little funky but let's see if track talking shit will play now I just need someone to help me stay awake because evidently Killer Mike has gone to sleep. Niggas talk to me about that woke ass shit. Yeah. The same niggas walking on some broke ass shit. You see your words ain't worth no money. I ain't spoke back, bitch. All of you niggas hang together on some broke back shit. <laughs> really, y'all niggas some hoes on some hoe ass shit. Look at me and take a picture on some Kodak shit. What you see is a cheat and you envy that shit. I can see it in your eyes like an envious bitch. I'm in rooms with politicians talking business and shit. Here you come with your opinion. They solicit that shit yeah. <laughs> I know folk, I know people, I'm the shit, I go fecal. You a leech, I'm a leader, I'm a down, we ain't equal. Kill your master, slap your seat. I'm rich rolling, true blue reek. I keep a stick, don't take shit, and that two two three is lethal. Fucking amazing. Now what's unfortunate with this reaction is this was supposed to be prior to slummer. And it's funny how life works out sometimes. I'm almost glad I heard Slummer first. Because here he's a G and he's a leader and he's working with politicians. You know, he's kind of up and, and strong and powerful and you know these other people around him are kind of leeches. And I don't I don't mean to say I don't I don't he, he's not doing this I, in my opinion, not really in a condescending way, but more of a matter of fact type of thing. Like it's hard to explain. I think you guys probably kind of get what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> anyway, let's not. My brain's all fucking wrapped around the axle right now. But Slummer coming right after this and, and, and the immense amount of remorse and guilt and honesty and what he felt is a mistake type of a thing. It, it, it pairs very well with this because it's, he's just going to show us everything about him, I suppose. Let's keep going. I'm fucking way off in the weeds. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if we get legal live. None of my niggas ain't free. Fuck it, I, I don't give a fuck who the president is if the president ain't for me. Yep. You ain't never met a nigga like me. I'm a bad nigga. I'm Stagger Lee. I'm a Morehouse man, Spike Lee. Dope man with a plan, fast speed. I kill him, I'm Jose Williams. Unbought, unbossed, I'm chillin'. Trying to get it out the mud, out the muscle. Trying to get it like the late Herman Russell. <laughs> you know, the track is called Talking That Shit. Yeah. I just, I feel like there's a lot of layers of self awareness here. Both, you're just being a person who is confident, being a person who believes in what they're doing and, and the importance behind it. Being a person who hears other people around them and just goes, God, what a bunch of talk, you know, and how annoying that can be. But then also the song itself is talking that shit. And what's he doing in the song? Talking that shit. So there's kind of like this full circle experience, you know. But he's also owning it. It's, this is fucking great. Man, I wish the order, I wish Spotify would have let me play it 
before. I should have just like clicked a different song and then went back to five. Anyway, whatever. Wish in one hand and do something filthy in the other. We'll see what fills up first, right? This fucking first verse is amazing. <laughs> Talk to me about that woke ass shit. You're all walking in on some broke ass shit. Your words ain't worth no money. I ain't spoke back, bitch. I love that, right? Talking to me. It's basically saying, talking to me, talking to me, talking to me. And notice how I'm not talking, I'm not responding. Like, you're not even worth my speaking to you. <laughs> uh, what you see is a G and you envy that shit. I can see it in your eyes like an envious bitch. <laughs> I'm in rooms with politicians talking business and shit. Here you come with your opinion. Ain't solicit that shit. Like, why are you talking to me? Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Good song. Good song. And then it moves into Slummer, which is, we'll, we'll obviously skip over because we just listened to that. But keep Slummer in the context. I'm trying to keep the order in, in mind a bit, too. Because to go from that track, talking that shit, to then being very open and expressing that fucking feeling of regret i suppose man like that that was some heart ache that was at the end of slumber that long drawn out sound man, it's just beautiful in how painful it was incredible track seven is called scientists and engineers killer mike and andre 3000 it's featuring future and Aaron Allen Kane, who did some amazing vocals on track four, which was Rich. I'll just call it Rich. It's produced by No ID, James Blake, Andre 2000, DJ Paul, TY exclusive. All right, track seven Scientists and Engineers. I love these kind of like choir esque vocals. Spend one time and spill again. Go make love to an angel while the devil in my head. Go make love to an angel while the devil in my head. Communication coming in. Too much that I can't communicate with all of them. I do wish I had scientists or engineer friends. Let's go. Get out of here, Petro. It's cheaper than it's ever been. And then, who's to say when all will end? All I know is when the portrait painted, better have your portion of the rent. A dollar more and you will get upgraded when you think you've made it, you are then Just tolerated, overrated, hope I'm 80 when I get my second win Small potatoes, all I ate before potato chips would cut my corner lips huh. Operator, operator, I would pray that you connect me to a sip A sangria, zambia, camera, cameo, hand me a handful of hips A stamina, stampede of happily happenings, dabbling into a blip The on neon, be on the ambience, be honest, you promise wow. that you will live That was cool Do some as ever forget I could've been wearing a hand Cool fucking sound here. I love that fucking guitar. Learn how to turn a trap house to a mansion. Watch me watch the world take my pain and balance it. It's better to be an outcast than a world of envious. Me, I go to Germany, earn me a couple of million, return with a couple of men. I'll go to Brazil and just kick in and chill till I'm over the hill and still fucking on wind. The world got no mercy, so I had to show him like Percy with me, it just can't be no limit. A hundred percent is authentic, see, I got no gimmick, so I ain't protecting no image. My style original, pivotal, is going digital, niggas, you like as a mimic. I'm a menace that's moving on vengeance, I promise my opt and my anger is endless. It ain't enough that I took out my op in this block, we burnt down this whole fucking village. Did it with smile, out a grimace, it was my pleasure to see that this fuck nigga finish. You get offended, then fuck it, my nigga, I'm with it, I'm hitting, let's get this shit in. Back oh my club, god. Immaculate thug with bottles above and some masses to rub. Look at me, bitch. Look at me, look at me, bitch. Look at the crook in me, bitch. I love that little guitar in there. I think this line is extremely important for the this song is kind of throwing me off lyrically because it feels like it's all over the it feels it feels contradictory in a way and maybe that's okay maybe that's the point because you've got this line go make love to an angel while the devil's in my head let's keep that concept in mind as we kind of go down this and you know andre 3000 verse was very cool i loved like the digital kind of computerized feel that the production had while he was going through his verse and he was kind of matching it with his flow 
I do wish I had scientists or engineer friends. Let's go get out of here. Petrol is cheaper than it's ever been. Who's to say when all would end? All I know is when the portrait painted better, have your portion of the rent. A dollar more and you will get upgraded. When you think you've made it, you are then just tolerated. Overrated. I fuck that was fucking fire right there. When you think you've made it, you are then just tolerated. Hope I'm 80 when I get my second win. Small potatoes, all I ate before potato chips would cut my corner lips. Operator. And then I love this like bit, you know, a stamina stampede of happily happenings, dabbling into obliv ob oblivion neon beyond the ambiance. It was cool the way he fucking rolled that out. It was great. Be honest. You promise that you will live. Do summers ever forget? I don't know. And I'm, you know, thinking this is this song comes after Slummer, which was with that girl. You know, he's talking about the summer romance and the girl. And you promise that you will live. Do summers ever forget? I don't know. And then Future's got a fucking pretty good little verse too. Diamond shaped like a teardrop. I got the streets in a headlock. I get your man slotted suicide door on the Range Rover. Uh, let's see. Trying to avoid cameras. Break my heart trying to avoid cameras. <laughs> I don't understand that. I keep shit loaded like a bando. Learn to turn the camera. Killer Mike had some great flow on this too. Music, computer drivers, looters, looters, shooters, shooters, rugers. CDs with my tutors. And my tutors taught me a terrible miracle. You can lie, cheat, and still kill in America and be celebrated like Captain America. Fuck it, I'm with it. Let's get it. You know? This is something I've always appreciated about, uh, well, the, the stuff that I've heard from Jay-Z is, you know, in terms of playing the game, you know, he, he you know, hey, these are the game. Okay, if this is the game and these are the rules, fuck it. If I can get away with this shit. Everybody else is doing it. Fuck it. I'm going to do it too, you know, and I'm going to use the system to fucking benefit myself and I will just acquire wealth and acquire wealth and yeah, I'll play this fucking game and I'll win at this game. You know, fuck it. I'm with it. Let's get it. Just like Killer Mike is saying right here. I'm a villain with children. So I'm never chilling. I gotta make millions. I used to be dope with the dealing, but that got a ceiling and we know the usual ending, right? Fuck yeah. Great lines. Get rich and go bitch and go fail and go snitch and then they fuck up their family and friends. Me, I go to Germany Earn a couple of millions, return with a couple of Benzes. <laughs> Good shit. That's a nice, uh, nice strategy. I like that. Like Percy with me, it just can't be no limit. 100% is authentic. See, I got no gimmick, so I ain't protecting no image. I love that shit, right? And this is something that this is, I feel like this is a, a thread through this album of this is who I am. But you can only be that if you actually own who you are. And part of that means owning your mistakes, which is why Slummer is in here. That's why Slummer is an incredible song. You have to own everything. And that, again, that fucking speech by Dave Chappelle. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's expecting you to be perfect. Go do it. Go do what you need to do. You don't have to protect an image because you don't have an image because this is who you are. Be who you are. And yes, that you know, we all have things we dislike about ourselves. We can improve them. We can't erase that shit. You can't erase it. And you can't run from it either because it will just chase you until you die. It will never, ever, ever go away. Ever. You just got to own it. It's part of us. These are, these are the textures of, our, of ourselves. Great song. Fuck, man. And that little guitar... Aaron Allen Kane, fucking, I love her voice. Standing in the rain, washing all my sins away. Streets ain't the same. Let's keep going. This is a phenomenal album. Seven of seven in terms of hearts. Track eight is called Two Days. Killer Mike, and I think it's TY dollar sign, but it might be TY dollar sign. I don't know. Produced by Don Cannon. Drop in. Track eight, Two Days. I'm just saying, I make this in two days. It is evident, I do better win I feel like the world against me and think I should never win Can I stop it, pocket profit every time I push a pin But I do not push a pin Fuck a pin and the pin that imprison all my kin And my partners and my friends Fuck the politicians that sponsor the prisons that they in I got partners coming home from 
I'm rocking 20 in the pen. Trying to make amends with baby mamas. Get to know that man. he And they cannot sell no marijuana law. Won't let them in. Man, them crackers let a nigga out, but will not let us in. Catch me early like Sunday school. I'm as clean as my Sunday suit. Pass to play you for food. Cool sound. Great sound. You tell me trapping dirty. Ask for my dirty money. Talking, wash away my sins. Like Jesus opened the lunch. <laughs> Cool chorus, catchy chorus. Cool song, you know, and a great placement for it too. Uh, this is something Gabe and I have talked about before. How you, you know, you gotta let the the listener breathe a little bit, right? And so if you come in a little too heavy, if you think about what we've been through here, talking that shit, slumber, scientists and engineers which was an interesting one. Two days kind of gives you like a little breath, right? That's a little, a little bit more fun, a little bit lighter, something to just easily digest, kind of jam out to. Fucking great lines too. I love the way Killer Mike writes. I really do. It's just it's cool style, straight to the point. Good, good word play here and there, but he doesn't spend a lot of time on it. It's more just to the fucking point, you know? Straightforward. Don't need to dress it all up. I don't understand. I don't understand this though. That you know, but I do not push a pin. Fuck a pin, and a pen. The pen I understand. You know, writing laws that imprisoned all my kin and my partners and my friends. Fuck the politicians. That's for the prisons that they're in. This part's crazy. This part's crazy. I got partners coming home from twenty in the pen, trying to make amends with baby mamas, get to know their kids. Fuck, man. I just oh. As a father, oh my god, it's just fucking. I it breaks my heart. The idea, just the idea, of being in a fucking like being in prison obviously sucks to begin with. But all I would think about every day is I don't get to see my son. I don't get to see my son. I don't get to see my. Son. It would just fucking kill me. It kills me just thinking about it. God damn, dude. And they can't sell marijuana. The law won't let him in. Crackers let a person out, but they will not let him in. It is evident I do better when I feel like the world's against me and I think I should never win. And I, you know, I, for, to me, in my opinion, the little that I know about Killer Mike, what I've experienced through his music, man, that guy, he is really good at harnessing that fire, you know? But how do you stoke the fire when I feel like the world is against me and I should never win? <laughs> so he stokes that fire, which is great. You know, I like that he knows how to, you know, get himself fired up and, and going. He has control over that. It's a useful tool. Hmm. My auntie says I'm arrogant. I say I'm intelligent. If God truly knows my heart, then why would I go bow to men? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Now I only go to churches where the welcome where they welcome worthless men who had to get it out the mud and rise up out the sediment. Catch me early like Sunday school, as clean as my Sunday suit. Pastor play you for the fool. Me. I just keep it cool. You tell me trapping dirty, ask me for my dirty money, talking, wash away my sins like Jesus opened up the laundry. <laughs> Great lines. Great lines. What a fucking phenomenal album so far. Let's move on to track nine, which is called Spaceship Views. Uh, it's produced by Audible C Note. Oh, okay. He was on uh, Heroes and Villains. He produced one of my fucking favorite songs almost ever. I fucking... Uh, and of course, thanks, Brain. I'll say that, and now I won't remember the song. I think it was track two, one, two, Too Many Nights, or Too Many Nights. It's got Don Toliver on there. Fucking, I'm, I love that song. <laughs> I love that song. It's got Killer Mike. It's got Currency, 2 Chains, and Cash Page. Cash Page? Cash Page, probably. Anyway, drop it in. Track nine, Spaceship Views. Interesting huh. change here. I bought this hoodie on Fairfax. I'm all over, honey. I went the door. I know the plug. 
I know the preachers and I know the thug. Don't give a damn, don't give a fuck. Rolling the seven two cutlass. Polo T with the bucket. Attitude still on fuck it. I refrain from that fuck shit. I'm all about big bucks, bitch. Niggas wanna move like rap niggas. Me, I wanna move like Rob Smith. Fuck that rapping trap shit. I'm a landlord, bitch. Pay rent. Pay rent. Oh my god. Great bridge right here. <laughs> They're just singing the word investigation. <laughs> Even though comfortable and safe is the same thing, but comfortable. You can be comfortable around yeah, killers. Yeah, you know exactly. you ain't safe. No. <laughs> you can be comfortable around killers. You know you ain't safe. That's an interesting concept, the idea. Safe but not comfortable. Comfortable but not safe. Ah, uh, there was some fucking lines Killer Mike brought down that were fucking amazing. Where, where was it? I think it was from the first verse. No, it was not. It was the second verse. Oh, yeah. So he was talking about someone. I don't know. You know, somebody, this guy did me dirty when I fell off. But I ain't write no tell all. My book giving you game. I ain't got to write about lame people. <laughs> and if you love that lame person, I'm still talking about the same person. What you know about college educated and still had to sell cocaine. What you know about before the fame, me and Steve still blowing in flame. Hmm. Product of grandma and grandpa. The drunker I get and the slumper I get. The drunker I get, the slumper I get. And you, heal, you hear that real West Side Atlanta. I went to Doug. I know the plug. I know the preachers and I know the thug. I love this. And I think right here, this is kind of a great representation of the album cover, right? Here's Mike smiling and he's got his halo and he's got his horns. <laughs> I know the preachers and I know the thug. Don't give a damn. Don't give a fuck. Rolling in a 72 cutlass polo tee with the bucket attitude still on. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck that rap and trap shit. I'm a landlord. Bitch, pay rent. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. This is great. Great album. Uh, let's move on to track 10, which is called Exit 9. It's produced by Will Yanez, Beat Butcher. Lots of guys. Damo, Warren Campbell, Killer Mike, and I don't know how to pronounce this. Bla blast? Blast? I'll just say Blast. Exit 9. Track 10 is Exit 9. Cool sound. Nice bass line. Cool chill. With my 69 five bird from the curse. I didn't have to work it like a square and had to serve. I'm listening to Big and Dre and crumbling on herb. I'm pushing down MLK with a quarter pound of herb. Passing through the temp, I say a prayer for fallen soldiers. Rest in peace to Bruce and make our beat with DG Ola. Let's bring out the champagne. Roll up an airplane. Life is a Whoa. rare thing. Life is a rare thing. We rise, we fall. Even when backs on wall. I find a way I can maintain. Yeah. GMLK like my memory lane. Ain't no feeling the same. Hope you're feeling the same. Great I put my blood, sweat, and tears in the game. Ain't no feeling the same. Hope you're feeling my pain. Remember them days, making minimum wage. I was trying to maintain. Look how far they came. Pop champagne for the pain. No campaigning for change. All the progress we made. Nigga, thank the way. Hopping over hurdles into my Chevy converter, swerve around them haters. You know they don't wish that don't wish to see me further. My campaign for champagne could have ended with my murder. Miss Daddy, say, if you ain't say it in Jesus' name, it's worse. Sir. Had to be my own boss. I know the prayer she's. I know the prayer she prayed for me still. I know some of my actions, it was taxed and I heard her, but Lord, if she's listening, please, please let her know I heard her. So he's talking about somebody hearing, hearing somebody pray for him. And you know, probably quite touching, right? To hear somebody pray for you. Cool song, very reflective. You know, again, I like, I like that he's kind of doing some of these throwbacks in, in, in his own mind, in his own life. I love this chorus. Bring out the champagne, roll up an airplane. Life is a rare thing. We rise, we fall. 
Eva went back, so what? So what? I find a way I can maintain. Yes, exactly. We all stumble. We all fall. Sometimes we relapse, whatever. So what? Just keep going, right? And that's, that's why it, kind of these different little themes that exist in this album. Just keep going. Keep going. You're not perfect. Keep going. Keep going. You're not perfect. You can't be perfect. You'll never be perfect. You're going to make mistakes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Fucking brilliant. Let's finish this one up. We rise, we fall, even with backs on wall. I find a way I can maintain. Yeah, I'm okay like my memory lane. Ain't no feeling the same. Hope you're feeling my pain. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in the game. Ain't no feeling the same. Hope you're feeling my pain. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in the game. Ain't no feeling insane. Hope you're feeling my pain. I ain't no feeling insane. Hope you're feeling my pain. That's a great song. Uh, oh shit, man, that might not be my favorite. Uh, Slumber was incredible. I think Run and Shed Tears. Down, hell, Down by Law was good too. This is a fucking great album. I got hard sex to everything so far. Let's move on to track 11, which is called... Oh, I clicked on No Idea. I wanted to make sure it was uh, the guy from 444. Something for Junkies. Uh, it's got Killer Mike and Fabo. I don't know who that is. Don Cannon, No ID, Little Shalimar for production. Track 11, something for junkies. The lyrics have not been released yet. This will be another challenge for the pop pop. Come on, boys. Some for the users, some for the junkies and the substance abusers. Some for the car washer, some for the shade tree. Some for my Uncle Jeff, he died and they paid me. Something for Ken folks in front of my stove front. Shout out to Terrence Dad, I never hit your blunts. Cause that was them blow blunts, that wasn't them drove blunts. That was them geek junts, and I got slipped one. Man, I was geek once, man, that was no fun. I had to call mom, cause I am Denise's son. She said, stay calm, chill out and eat, son. Laughed at me later on, said you were just geek, son. And the things that tempt people to fall, you and I are not free from that temptation, nor from the weakness that will cause us to stumble and fall. When you laugh at somebody else's fall, white or black, rich or poor, your enemy or your friend, you're laughing and opening a way for your own demise when you do that. That was fucking brilliant. I, I'm pausing. I know it sounds like it's going to drop right in. That was brilliant. And you know what's really great about this too? Something for junkies. Because this previous track, Exit 9, right? You know, we stumble, we fall. How the fuck did it go? We stumble, we fall. We rise, we fall. Even went back. So what? And, you know, the idea, I feel like a lot of us, it's very easy to get hung up on the mistakes that we make, right? It's very easy to do that. And... It's important to understand a mistake and, and, and try and you know, know, okay, how, why was it that I made this mistake and how can I you know, avoid making this mistake in the future? That's important. But you can't just fucking cling to that. Can't pick up no crown holding what's holding you down. You've got to let the mistake go. Learn from it. Move on. But there's the flip side of it, of the, watching somebody else make a mistake and, ah, uh, you know, like, uh, look at them. And that it's called something for junkies. There's a lot of layers here. Junkies, addiction, you know, they're fucking, in a way, probably just lost. You know, that's a hard thing to crawl out of. But there's probably people who are junkies in the sense of, think of like social media and just going on and, and, and how much vile, toxic shit there is on social media. And what are we doing as the observers? Just scrolling through, oh, you know, like Reddit, I feel like Reddit is so fucking awful. It's just post after post after post about how you know, this is stupid and this is stupid and this is stupid and comment after comment after and it's these basically the junkies and their addiction is just toxic online environment. That's what they're addicted to. And I love this little sermon that's in there of whenever you point and laugh at somebody else's fall, you're still in that place of you still have that weakness you can you you might not have the addiction but you can still suffer from the temptation and the weakness and still have that mistake 
So you should learn from their mistakes rather than laughing at their mistakes because otherwise you probably suffer the same mistake. Woke up straight, travel great, counting my money. Had a quick combo with my auntie the junkie. I tell the baby, you've been going too hard lately. See you like 60, baby, but you've been looking 80. She said she Michael, I've been smoking since 80. Before the shooters, back when we still called it free basin. She closed her eyes, fantasized by better time. When she was beautiful, fine, and still snorting line. Just quick pause this this bit about his aunt who's a junkie. I love this because it plays right after that whole thing of learning from other people's mistakes, right? And so Killer Mike loves his aunt, still spends time with his aunt, even though she's a junkie. <clears throat> um, and I can only imagine how much he has learned from her, watching her. And it's interesting how we all have different experiences with that, right? Like some some of us, some kids, we just kind of follow into the same pattern that our parents did, right? And, and we don't learn from that mistake, but other kids are able to go, this is fucking wrong and I'm never gonna do this, that type of thing. So it's, it's this is cool, let's keep going. Just, that was a quick break. Was Paco, Fucking fantastic song. It's brilliant. So I, I don't know how well you guys could hear it, but this outro portion, the the whole concept, I know somebody's out there praying, I hope my mama don't die. And the idea, you know, all these drugs are flying around, all these people are hooked on all this shit, and, you know, seeing somebody addicted. I Fortunately, I, I have been, yeah, I've been blessed with the sense of, I haven't really had anybody in my life who's like, addicted you know i've heard stories you can watch you know tv shows about it and shit it's just fucking gnarly man there's a youtube channel called what is it the soft white underbelly i think is what it's called an incredible channel he just interviews these people and just talks to them and holy shit the stories that you hear man god it's crazy it is fucking crazy uh, well let's see am i gonna get on a soapbox or not the next one's called Motherless. <sighs> well, here comes Sideways Bob, probably, because the song is ending with, here's a prayer. I know somebody's out there praying. I hope my mama don't die. And now the next song is called Motherless. Let's just move into it. I've got, it, it, coincidentally, I have like a handkerchief here. <laughs> I was using it last night because my beverage was condensing on the desk. And uh, we don't want water stains. Oh, no water stains. <laughs> Track 12 is called Motherless. Featuring Mike, Killer Mike and Aaron Allen Kane. Who, her voice is beautiful. Produced by No ID. Uh, there are lyrics. Let's jump in. Track 12, Motherless. My grandmama dead. To keep it honest, I get depressed and be feeling scared. You see, I won't prepare and never will be. To think about your death and need sometimes to kill me. You won't believe it, mama. I cheated, mama. I turned these hating ass people to believers, mama. A black boy born to a teen, mama, mama. Gets regarded as a leader by his people, mama. If God sent me back to normal to be next to you, I would gladly trade it all because I'd be missing you. I be missing hugging you, I be kissing you. I miss all the Jews and I miss all your wisdom too. Some days I be mean as fuck and I be mean as too. Fuss and fighting over fuck shit that be minuscule. Shay and Taj tell me that's just a Denise and you. And this in both your daughters, Mikey and Anaya too. Like pulling up on Sunday nights just to tell you why I apologize and mama you was right. Like a hole in my heart and I want to call the Lord but I don't know where to start. Very important line, in my opinion, right here. Like a hole in my heart, and I want to call the Lord, but I don't know where to start. I want to pray. So I, I don't pray anymore. I used to pray, but you know, the idea of, of 
praying and I don't even know what to say in prayer. That's, that's powerful, in my opinion. Very powerful. Let's keep going. I'm already getting teared up. Let's just, let's just fucking go with it. <laughs> my mama did. My grandmama did. Mama. I miss him so much. Sometimes I just cry and hold my head. They left the world a man like me and make sure I'm prepared. To live a life to make sure my wife ain't gonna beg for bread. I got an altar in my home to honor both of them. Just this morning I was smoking, smoke to both of them. I asked it for her prayers over my generations. And I asked Nisa to keep me through my trials and tribulations. I'm just gonna let it play out. We'll, we'll spend time with Killer Mike here. I'm kind of surprised by this song. And let's just kind of go through it. You know, obviously, the topic is pretty straightforward. He misses his mom. His mom is gone. But I'm surprised in the sense that he's kind of hammering on this so hard. And I, I, on one aspect, I go, he's expressing this, right? This is another part of him. He's revealing this to us. I think that's great. I think it's incredible. I think it's, it's an important thing to share, talking about crying, missing them, so on. <laughs> now I'm crying a little bit. What, whatever. It's all right. <clears throat> but the reason why I'm surprised is I, this is the same guy who has said, you know, you can't pick up the crown holding what's holding you down. And I kind of wonder, I kind of wonder if he's holding this a little, little too much. And I, I need to be very careful here. I need to be very respectful because I'm sure as fuck not going to tell anybody how to live their life, how to mourn the loss of loved ones, et cetera, right? Like, no. You, everyone gets to miss their fucking family members, right? Obviously, right? It, this is something that you do have to be careful with as your own person too. This and this applies to all of us. This isn't, I'm not saying this to Killer Mike. This is everyone, all of us. We all we all move on, man. All of us. It's gonna happen to all of us, and it it is sad and it is hard. But I'm I'm kind of a, kind of a fucking mess. You, you know, I I'm thinking about. The album. Well, you know what? Maybe this is all just a perfect little wrinkle because you got to keep going. You got to keep going. And I and you know what? I think I'm being a little too judgmental because Killer Mike is still going. It's not like he's doing nothing with his life and sitting around and missing his mom. Like no, he's he's just another aspect of it. So I'm being a little too judgy on this one. I apologize. But I do want to make it clear that while it is important to express these emotions, have these feelings miss the ones that you love, it can turn into something that holds you down. It can. So be careful with that. That's all, that's all I, I suppose I, I really want to say is th those who die, you know, we, he's talking about fucking, uh, Dave Chappelle was talking about Normandy, right? Like being a black man is like a storm in the beach at Normandy. I, I went there. My wife and I went on vacation in, Paris, in France and we went to Normandy and the beaches and stuff like that. And, there was a, 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 a monument that was there on one of the beaches and the kids were running around playing on it and stuff like that. And I, we were talking to the tour guide and he was saying how, yeah, initially when they, they set it up, some of the people were upset because the kids were playing on it. And it's like, well, isn't that what the soldiers would want? <laughs> you know, you fucking, you're out there, you're a fucking 19, 20 year old kid, you're dying on the beach and you just hope, well, shit, I hope this is for something. I hope I'm dying for something. So the idea of kids playing on your monument after you're dead, fuck yeah. Normandy, oh my God. I fucking cried all day. All fucking day, Jesus Christ, man. That, that, uh, that, uh, not the funeral, the, the burial site, the cemetery with all those fucking crosses, holy shit. Anyway, all that to come back around the people who have passed, they don't want you, us, to sit around and cry over them either. Keep going. Go live your life. Go make it worth something. Make it worth something, whatever it is, you know? And so that, that's really what I want to come back to is 
yes, you can miss them. And yes, if, you know, if they died in a terrible way, it's tragic, but they don't want you to just stop living your life. You got to keep living your life too. Okay, let's keep going. Now that I'm a proper, <laughs> proper mess, fucking Normandy, man. Jesus, that place. Incredible. Track 13 is called Don't Let the Devil. It's featuring Thank You Good Sir. Uh, LP is on here, produced by No ID LP and Shalomir, or Little Shalomir. Jump in. Track 13. Don't Let the Devil. You want us the product of many cruel summers And the description was fitting They say it's two gunners Slap chick keys out your cheek Until you true hummers Left the scene the Hellcat scream Cause we don't do Honda But we do Benny Hannas Taking your baby mama She hostage me in the homage She kiss it to pay me homage She work it like I deserve it She move like the perfect pervert They say Mississippi burning I'm sipping sir eating shirt This is good man Great fucking sound I feel like I've heard this sample before. I, I don't know what it's from. The that voice, the da, da, not not here, but in the verse, the sample part. Yeah, Great fucking beat right here. Jesus. So good. No mid smoke, upper smoke, only the lower making exceptions. That part, that sample, that voice, that higher pitched. I feel like I've heard that. Before. I want to look at uh, Mike's, Killer Mike's words here a bit. This bit. <laughs> Uh, you know, taking your baby mama, she hostaged me in the Hummer, she kiss it to pay me homage, she work it like I deserve it, she move like the perfect pervert. <laughs> they say Mississippi burning, I'm sipping syrup, eating sherbet, watching the world go to hell as I'm laughing, saying it's perfect. Catch me after Sunday service, disturbing the church workers, tell the deacon we ain't speaking, need money, his prayers worthless. <laughs> oh, shit. I can tell through my alertness he's nervous about his purchase. Huh. Don't let the devil. I love that chorus. It's so hard. It's so hard. Don't let the devil coerce you. It's so hard. You know, I, I don't you know, believe in the entity of the devil, but just temptation, weakness, try to make proper decisions and stuff. It's, it's crazy how sneaky that shit can be sometimes. <clears throat> Great shit. Great shit. There's one more song. It's called High and Holy. Uh, it's got Killer Mike and, and Ty Dollar Sign, produced by Tech Beats. This is the final track. I'm 13 of 13 hearts. I've enjoyed this album immensely. This is, I really can't wait to listen to it again, uninterrupted, and in the proper order this time. <laughs> uh, track 14, High and Holy. Jeki Olo Dumari Ati Ati Orisha Ati Bobo Ebu Aribu Babawa Olo Dumari Bless the West Real niggas it's my honor to pay you homage and extend the same respect to all your baby mamas cause streets is trifle we carry rifles granny carry bibles we carry hatred for our rivals same as Cain and Abel killed his brother cause God showed him favor mankind killed his own savior man to kill his neighbor man to kill his neighbor they say it's in our nature they say we're children of a lesser God and treat us hateful shit is so disgraceful I stay prayed and faithful no one smoke up at the heavens Great sound. Great sound right here. I'm gonna do, I think I'm going to do one quick pause here, and maybe I'll let the rest of the album play out here, or the final one out. But I really want to touch on the, the chorus, because this is, this is a great way to close up this album. My life's a testimony, that's why I stay high and holy. You know, the lyrics are all fucked up here on Genius here. I stayed, I stayed prayed and faithful. I apologize I have ever spoke mistasteful, not, the, not this taste, but mistasteful. 
words in front of somebody sitting at the dinner table. I writened up and tightened up, not ends up and tied end up. I writened up and tightened up and God show me favor. And now, you know, this, and, and I go back to the idea of carrying the torch. Killer Mike is carrying the torch, his torch, what he's fighting for, what he believes in. And, you know, his life's a testimony, which is kind of what this album has been, a, a bit of a reflection on that life. I've really enjoyed that. Blowing smoke up at the heaven, count my blessings, trying to find atonement. My life's a testimony. That's why I stay high and holy. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I love it. Let's keep rolling. Men have died for dollars. Men have killed for pennies. But too few have made a difference, so their life is finished. Like, did you love a woman? Did you raise a child? Yeah, man. Did you show yeah. some love? Did you give a smile? Were you made to suffer when you didn't deserve it? You fucked up, that's okay, bro. Ain't nobody perfect. Yeah. They say get right with God, cause the devil lurking. Lay your worries down, give God all your burdens. My brother's in the fire, and the same was my desire. Our ambitions all can co conspire to go higher. God bless those that confess and God damn the liars. Quote it like I wrote it, Michael, father of Anaya. Blowing smoke yeah. up in the heavens. Good shit, man. Good shit. My life's a testimony. That's why I say hi and holy. I love that little bass line. <laughs> no idea what any of this means. There's no, no. Interesting decision to have the language used there. Because I think a lot of us are not going to understand what that means. And I imagine it probably pretty powerful, honestly. Because it's concluding the album of a fantastic album, in my opinion. Well, there we go. Let's do some uh, closing thoughts here, huh? I have to admit that the first, you know, the first couple songs, I honestly felt a little, just a little awkward. Because, you know, I'm white. And whatever. I don't think anybody cares, right? But I remember when I started this channel and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this deliberate journey through hip hop. I want to listen to these artists. I want to hear this music. I want to make my own decisions, my own opinions about what all of this stands for, what it is, rather than all the bullshit I've heard on the news, right? And in, in that, I had this idea of, oh, cool. Well, maybe in doing so, I can understand you know, what it's like to be a black person in this country. And when I think of that now, I honestly, I kind of cringe. Like, I think it's a well-intentioned idea, but it's also a fairly cringy idea because of rap music, of hip hop, of these stories, these albums, these songs. I have learned I will never know what it's like to be a black person in this country. Statement of fact. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm certainly not going to apologize for that. It just is what it is. And the reason why I mention all of this is because Killer Mike has had a different life than I have. No doubt about it. And I'm sure at some point in time, him being black has been a part of that. Okay? And I, you know, I think we're all adults and we can just acknowledge reality in this situation. And so I bring all this up because when I sit down with these albums and I listen to these, these lyrics and stuff, I, I do my best to connect with the artists and, and hear what they're saying and, and feel what they're expressing and so on. But then I also, with this album, realized there's certain things I'm, I'm just not going to be able to feel and, 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 and connect with because I, I have not had that experience and I will not have that experience. There you go. That's, that's, that's just kind of that. I wanted to put that footnote in there. Fantastic album. <laughs> Fantastic album. Uh, I've got a heart next to every track. Uh, Don't Let the Devil is fucking phenomenal. Slummer was incredible. I, I remember down, I mean, even just the opener, Down by Law, a bunch of fucking great sound. Shed Tears was great. Uh, Run. There was one of them, you know, a couple where they didn't have the lyrics up, so that kind of made it a little rough. Kind of a rough overall reaction experience. I, I apologize for that. You know, 
like like life, there's just certain things that are out of my control when the lyrics aren't there or they're all screwed up. <laughs> what have you? Something for the junkie. Like I really loved the flow, the the track order. Uh, spaceship views, you know, it's kind of like more of a, a, a party thing. And then exit nine ending on, um, you know, I, somebody's out there praying. I hope my mama don't die. And then it turns in, rolls into something for the junkies. Right. And, and then it rolls into mother. I mean, it's just great, great album. Really well done. Really well done. I'm not surprised in the least, honestly. I, I did kind of expect unfairly, right? Like, why would I expect anything? It's not my fucking album. I didn't make it. I didn't talk to him while he was putting it together, even though I call him Mike half the video. <laughs> but I almost, I kind of expected, I think it's because I follow him on Twitter and I've seen, you know, tweets here and there and people, you know, talk about this and talk about that. And I, I kind of, I guess, expected a little bit more open emotion, maybe. Um, not that it's bad for not having that. I'm not saying that at all. But I, I think I, ex I expected to cry a lot. That's, that's really what I'm trying to do, to say. I, ex I expected to cry quite a bit. Uh, but that's okay. It's fine. You know, it is what it is. And I enjoyed it either way. Cool album. Um, I don't really know what to say. I guess that's it. There you go. We're going to move into the music videos now. There's two of them. One for Motherless. Maybe I'll get my cries in after all, right? <laughs> and one for Don't Let the Devil, I believe. I've got them set up. Let's roll in here. If you're on YouTube and I, if I did have to edit this, this will be part of the Patreon. So if you want to watch it, it's two bucks for Patreon. Over 100 uncut album reactions on Patreon. You get access to Discord. You can come chat with me in Discord if you want to. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can talk. I don't think I fucking can. Jesus, that was beautiful. That was fucking beautiful. And I, I want to issue a very strong apology right now for kind of what I said at the end of the song reaction. You know, being surprised that he was doing this and maybe you know, he's holding on to a little bit more. Watching the video makes me fully understand. He's, it's kind of like exercising a bit of a demon, working the emotions. That was beautiful, that trans transition from, I guess, the, the, the service, the ceremony, into the fucking, into the booth. God. <laughs> Sideways Bob. <laughs> ah, that was fucking great. God, that was fucking great. <sighs> there was one other thing I wanted to say. I was tr trying to remember, you know, I, at the closing thoughts, I was like, I don't know what else to say. There was one other thing. I just couldn't really remember it. <laughs> What I really enjoyed about this whole ride was just Killer Mike showing the texture of his own self. And when I say texture, I mean everything. The strength, the weaknesses, the flaws, the, the desires, the goals. Those are the textures that make up each person. And we all have them. And I forget which track it was. But the idea of, fuck, I don't even remember what the line was, but the idea of you're trying to run, run from your problems, not, well, not your problems, but like your flaws and laughing at other people when they mis make mistakes instead of learning from those mistakes and all this. And just, the, the, the Dave Chappelle speech was brilliantly added. I, I think that adds such a key level of con context to this album of nobody's perfect. Nobody expects you to be perfect. What are you waiting for? Go do it. That applies to all of us. And it's fucking brilliant. And I love how Killer Mike has essentially taken that concept and, well, I don't know if he took that concept and made an album from it, but that's him doing that. This, this album is Killer Mike doing that. Him saying, I'm not perfect. <laughs> yes, I'm scared. Yes, I don't really know what to do necessarily. But what am I waiting for? Go do it. Because the thing is, is if you wait around with your life, if you wait around for the perfect time to do this, the perfect time to say that, the perfect, the perfect, it'll never fucking happen. It will never happen. Life is not perfect. Fundamentally, it is not perfect. You have to just 
put yourself out there. And yes, you will be scared. And yes, things will go wrong. But what happens if you don't? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens. God, that was great. <laughs> that was great. Jesus, that fucking video was incredible. All right, I gotta stop. I'm gonna fucking start crying again. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Fucking loved it. Loved it. Uh, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>